Hello awesome people, welcome back to Pass Solo Creation Video Tutorial. It's been a long time your guy uploaded a video on this channel. I just involved myself in a framing business. So if you guys need any frame, you can contact me. Then I can hook you up with a picture frame if you ever need it. In today's video, we are going to look at how to design this simple church flyer in Adobe Photoshop, okay? So, we are going to look at how to come out with that. So, there is a book cover that I'm doing for someone. When I'm done, maybe hopefully, I will try and do a video on it. And then also, there is a long-term church flyer that I did for this same pasta, okay? So, I just took this image from it and replaced it here for me not to make the selection again all right so let's look at how to do this now in photoshop so as always you can get this psd file on my shop okay so you see how it is grouped it is well arranged you can get it and use it for your project as well so as always i start by creating a new document file new to create a new document okay then i'm going to use 110 by 110 millimeters let me see it in inches i think it is four by four in inches then i'll click on create all right so a new canvas is going to open just like this for me then i have my resource file that i use for this project you see very simple and and i have also spent time to type this one here just to speed up this work okay so first of all i'll click and drag this one into photoshop so initially this is going to be our background then with our background i'll just click and scale it a bit if you don't have these bounding balls click on ctrl t or go to file and you'll see free transform you can enlarge it how you want it then from here i'll click on this check mark to accept changes then from here what i did next was to blur this one so you can see from here that the background is blur you can't see much of the details as you can see here all right so how do you get that effect so you can first of all right click and rasterize this layer or if you want to maybe go back and edit so if i rasterize this layer right click and rasterize the layer okay i hope everybody saw it so here is the rasterize then i go to filter blur gaussian blur and i think i use a radius of 40 and i click on ok i can't really go back to change the radius that i am going to set for here so you see that i am stuck here all right but undo undo if this is a smart object like i have it here so if you have this it means this is a smart object thumbnail so if i go to blur and i choose blur and then gaussian blur okay and i click on okay with a radius of 40 and let's see the effects so you see we get the same thing right but here we have this smart object which i can just double click here to open the radius value for me and i can maybe change it to 35 or even delete all all of that so i can even leave it at zero to have the effect or to have the original document or the original image okay so let me leave it at 40 and click on okay so that's one advantage of using a smart object but the advantage or the drawback of using a smart object is that it makes your document size big so instead of rasterizing it and making it a little heavier uh, if you maintain the smart object your image size become large okay i want to quickly finish this flyer because it's been a long time it's because it's been a long time i've been doing this all right so let me quickly finish up and let's see what we can do on the channel all right so we see we have everything blend in okay so let me increase the size a bit and then i'll add a layer max to this one so make sure you have your rectangle selected then add the layer max to it i'll pick my brush tool here okay then 
I think I have my caps lock on. That's why I'm seeing this. So let me unlock it. Use the square bracket to make it small and start to paint. Too much undo. Control Z to undo. Then I'll just paint small. Um, so let me increase the size so to fill the gap of the white. So initially, this is going to be for the background. Okay, so very, very simple thing to do here. Okay, so from here, I can select all of them, control G to group. Okay, so select both of them, control G to group, name this one as background. I can right click and maybe give this one a blue color. So if you have been following me on this channel, you know, I always use blue for my background. Okay. Then from here, I have the church logo here. So I'll just click and drag this. And by the way, I have a tutorial for beginners or intermediate or if your designs are not good and you want to improve it, watching these videos is very good. It's going to help you get one or two informations. But if you want to get the pro, like if you want to make good flyers, you can watch this video, make the same thing, but maybe it, it will look like what i am doing you know you can get the same result your work will be clean but maybe when you get a contract from someone you your ideas will be lost you do you don't know how to start it you don't know where to start from so um learning from someone personally so when we join the my when you join my course you get access to me anytime that you want to ask me a question i'll be your tutor for one month after that i'll mentor you any design that you do you can show to me I will direct you maybe this is this isn't good this is good then we learn from each other you know we always keep learning so learning is a good thing and you can't stop doing that all right so then from here um i brought in the present so copy this with the help of my test to let me just paste that so let me select it again and i just paste that so i'll reduce the size here to maybe eight okay so let me paste again then control o control a to select everything then open my character panel if you don't have it go to window make sure you have character check and then increase this value to maybe 300 let's see okay i think something like this is okay I just did the flyer, so I think I have most of the information in my head. All right. Then from here, I think this one too was changed to white. So I will just change the color to white. Then from here, I can add my other details. So you see, uh, if I open the details, you see this one, aggressive prophetic prayers. So uh, we know we can change this one to up so what we can do is that we can draw a shape so with the help of the rectangle tool as always click and drag to draw a shape you can hold down the shift key so it will be drawn proportional then let me increase the size a bit and then click on the move to and maybe move this guy around so maybe i will leave it here Control O to fit everything to screen. I think the size is okay. And then I just choose random colors from the background. So I think I had red here. So double click on it and select red. And so I think something like this was okay. Then I also picked up my polygonal lasso too. And then I draw a rough something here. So just this one and giving it a shape. Okay. Then from there, I think it was ended. I created a new layer. So click on this to create a new layer. Then I picked up my paint bucket tool. So if you don't have it, just search in your tools kit. You are going to see the paint bucket too so select that and then fill it with the color that you have then from here we can clip the image okay so right click and create a clipping max so when you create a clipping max this is what you are going to have 
but what i would like to do is that i'll hold down the control key and click on the shape you know the rectangle shape that we drawn earlier okay so we will have a selection on this one then i'm going to make a duplicate from here and i can delete this one so we have the shape and the rectangle the same then from here i can change the color of this one so to change the color you see this one is not a shape so what we can do is to go to here fx and add a color overlay okay and we can choose any color that we want so i think something like this is okay and i think i even reduce the opacity of this one to 50 so the opacity let's change it here let's go 50 and that is all so that is how you can get the shape and then with the help of the test tool we can type in the letter and guys i use the open sans font okay and then i'm going to use the bold one so select it and let's change this one to extra bold all right so i'll just click and drag this one in position and scale it to fit most part of here okay so i'll just do that quickly all right so then from your control o to fit everything to screen and then i think i have my background in one folder so i'll select it and click on this lock okay to lock the background then from here i can click and drag over this one let me make it a bit bigger then i'll make a duplicate three times leaving just small space in between them okay all right then from here i will change the test to so you see we have app so i'll change this one to p this one also to p next i will just copy all my tests leave the a because we already have it and then replace that all right and also i think i have a lot of space in between this one so i'll just change this one to zero because you see when we are doing the present we made the spacing 300 that's why we are having that okay so i'll make a duplicate of this one as well copy my test and then replace that all right so when you're done with everything this is how it's going to look like I think we have a problem here because the intervals between them is too big. So let me try to bring them closer. Then if you bring them closer, we also have a problem here because we need to scale this one down. So I'll click and drag and scale this one down. All right. So i will delete this and then replace this one so delete copy let me do it again select all then i'll copy this one down why is the a not copying all right and do that one for the last one as well then i'll move this one also up a bit so these are small small things that you might be doing to get the correct thing okay so let me quickly move from here so we can end this video because i don't want this video to be too long all right so p p then i'll change the colors of this shape so I think the middle one was yellow. Then let me change the middle one. The middle one is the yellow. All right, so when you take your time and do it, it's going to look something like this. I think the opacity of this one is too much. So let me reduce this one to 20%. So you see, I have changed this one from the 50 to 20. And let me do the same for the other one. This one to 20%. So we get most out of that. 
So this is how this one is done. You can bring the present a little bit down. Next, we are going to bring in the pastest image. So I'll just move it from here. So here is the pastest image and position it here. All right. So this is how it's going to look like. I have already removed the background of the image and then I have also um, color grade the image as well. So you see how nice it is and it is complementing the background as well. Okay. Then from here, we can add the pastor's name. So we can just type in the pastor's name. So I think the pastor's name is already been typed here. Copy that with the test to our paste. So let me make them separate. So this one alone, make it small case. And then I think I use this font. Autograph, Control T for free transform. And I'm going to make it large. And also the spacing is too much. So let's go back to zero. Then this one too, I think I also use a different font called the big noodle, big noodle. Okay. So reduce the spacing to zero and I'm going to make it very big. All right, so if you add the name, this is how it's going to look like. Then also, I think I made this shape. So this is a simple shape. I think time is not on our side. So let me copy the shape and then come and drag it. The next one, I will just copy in the date the time the venue everything so i'm just going to paste that one here as well to select this and then position it well so here is it Paste this one, reduce the size. Okay, so I'll position it here. Make a duplicate. So the duplicate, I just hold down the Alt key and you see a white arrow joins the black one. Then I'll bring it down. It will make the duplicate. Let me do one more. So the first one is going to be for the date itself. Second one is going to be for venue. So replace the venue. And the last one is going to be the time. And maybe the last one is going to be the contact information so select the test tool and maybe paste that one here as well i'll change the font to open sans okay so in this design i use three fonts normally you can use two fonts or even one font for a design but if the need arise and you need to use different fonts, then you have to. The reason why I changed the font for the date and this one is that I wanted it to stand out like I wanted a bold font. And that's why I'm using this one. And the font that I'm using for the normal thing is a font that I always use in my designs. So if you have been on this channel for long, you will know that these are fonts that I use day in, day out. Select all of them, holding down the shift key and I'll drag this one a bit here. And you notice from here that I brought in lines to, you know, separate these things so it can make it easier for reading. Okay, so select the three. 
and then if i select all of them i'll click on this one to make sure the spacing in between each of them is equal select my rectangle to use it to draw a line fill it with white then maybe select these and align to left so all of them is going to be on the left side then lastly i will change the color to white because it didn't fill with white and let me make a duplicate of this so click and drag make a duplicate Control o to fit everything to screen okay so you can see if you take your time and do it well you are going to also come out with something great so let me select this and increase even the size all right and also i think i added a drop shadow to this one because maybe it might be contrasting with the background because we have some white at the background and then also we have white test here so if you add a little drop shadow tiny one you see i have here 8 29 and even the opacity is what 17 you see that so if i make it big you see it becomes too much so let me maintain even 15 or let's maintain the 17 make a duplicate on the rest so that we get a cool effect at the end of the day so select this and this and add the drop shadow add this one here okay so i think finally this is how it is going to look like and lastly let me bring this one a bit here then also the last thing that i did here was to bring in this image so make the same image very big so make a duplicate and make it very big like this okay and let me take the image down and then position this one here and reducing the opacity all right so something like this is okay so add the layer max to it and then you paint up the places that you don't want to see in the flyer then the last thing that we did was to bring in this lens flare position it somewhere over here drag it all over the image and then we are going to change the blending mode to linear dodge add and position it somewhere here to give it some feel you can leave it if you want you can leave it you can also add it so it depends on your wish like what you want to get at the end of the day all right so this is how you can design this same flyer following this step by step and please if you have any contract for us maybe a flyer design billboard design anything that you have you can contact us we can do it for you you can also get this psd file in my shop purchase this psd file to support the channel it helps us to buy airtime and stuff and lastly please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't all right and also leave your comment what you want to see next on the channel until next time peace and keep creating check your screen the other video we pick for you to enjoy next we love you